Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over the Uconnect system, specifically the media. This is going to work for all Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram vehicles. So this is the Uconnect system, and once you're in media, this is going to really get everything that you have playing music or videos or anything to that nature. You've got your AM and FM, right now I have it on FM. I have it on 100.7 as you can see and if you want to change the radio station there's always going to be a dial for that so you can change it to whichever you want 96.3 or whatever it is there's also a really handy button here said tune so if you hit tune this is way easier at least in my opinion if I want to go to 100.7 pop that in hit go and you're there now that we're actually here, if you do want to add it to one of your favorite presets up here, just like this one says, hold the set, that's exactly what you're going to do. So I'm going to put it here on two. I already do have it on one, but just to show you guys, we're going to hold it down, and there it is, 100.7. Now, you can also see there is an HD button. That means that this radio station comes in HD instead of just the regular analog. If you do want to hit regular analog, just press that button and there you go, 100.7. But if you do want HD, it gives you a little more, bit more information on here, what's playing. Um, you can also see there's a one and a two. Some HD radio stations actually have more than one broadcast from whatever station you're at. If you do want to listen to the other one, just hit the left or right arrows and it'll cycle between however many there are. Sometimes there's way more than two. Now we also have Sirius XM, so if you want to listen to something, say 80s on 8 or whatever your favorite channels are, same thing works with up here. You can hold it down and save it as one of your favorites up there. And once this is playing, it has so many cool features, you can replay fast forward. So if we hit the replay button, it'll bring up all these options. So you can see right now it's live. I can rewind, fast forward, pause or hit the live button and it brings it back to the live view. There's also a little slider up here. You can see where exactly it is. You can also bring it back and go back. Let's see that that song was playing. Want to go back up here. So many cool things you can do if you do have the Sirius XM. So next down, down here on the list, we have source select. This brings up all the different options that this current vehicle has for connectivity. So Bluetooth, we can connect our phones via Bluetooth. We can do auxiliary cable, so we can hook up an MP3 or our phones through an auxiliary cable. We can also do USB 1 and 2 on this particular car. Right down here, there is a USB 1 and 2 right there, so you can hook up a USB drive that has music or something like that. So then you come in here, click on it, and that will be the media that will play whatever you have going. So right now, I am just on FM. But if I did have my phone connected via Bluetooth, I would hit that source select, hit Bluetooth, and then I could play Bluetooth. If I wanted to go back to the radio, but still have my phone connected, I'd hit FM, and it would bring me back to FM. Let me hide that so I could go FM or AM or wherever I wanted to go. And the last thing here on media, you can see in the right-hand corner here, audio. If we hit audio, you can go through all of your car's audio settings. So you can pick the balance and fade. Basically, for this, if you have kids in the back, you don't really want to listen to it, drag this and bring it to the back. Now, the music playing will go to the rear, left, and right speakers equally. If you just want it to bring it to the left, bring it to the left. Now all the music is going to go to the rear left speaker. And if you just played around with that and thought it was cool, you want it back in center, just hit the C, bring it back to center, and now you're back to what you were. So equalizer, this is where you get to play with the bass and the mids and the trebles. You can do whatever you want here to suit your best interest. Usually I just play around with the bass depending on the song. Speed adjustment, this one's really cool. Uh, if you're driving on the highway, you know that it gets a little bit louder with road noise the faster you go. What this does is on a scale of 1, 2, and 3, 3 being the louder, right here at 1, I have it kind of simply set. Basically what this does is it turns up the volume for you the faster you go, because you know the faster you go, the louder it's going to be. 
you can turn this off or all the way up to three. This is really cool so you don't have to constantly adjust the volume as you're driving because road noise. Surround sound, this is a simple on and off if you do want a surround sound like effect. Depending on what you're listening to, that is sometimes the way to go, sometimes not. The auxiliary volume offset, that's when you have your phone or MP3 or whatever hooked up to the vehicle, you can change the volume from that. And last but not least, autoplay. This is when you have a phone hooked up via Bluetooth. You can set this to on if you want your phone to automatically start playing music as soon as you turn on the car and it's been paired via Bluetooth, or you can turn it off so you can do that manually yourself. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe even learned something, and watch out for more videos. I'll be going over the rest of these in the Uconnect and just other general car videos.